Mm. What is up, you guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scavenger. And today we're going against Nagi, known as Andre, and he definitely, definitely is a very, very good person. I'm very glad to know this guy. He has been uh, very supportive of my Nuzlocke, and you know, he's been just around for actually a few months, and uh, I really like having him around. He's very unaccustomed to the meta game, so he wanted um split UU match for himself because... You know, I can kind of, I'm actually kind of fine with that because if you are, well, a little bit unsure of you about yourself, then it's kind of fine to, you know, bring enough strength to actually feel that you feel comfortable. So I actually didn't mind this at all. I have st still my NU team and uh, I'm going to do the best of my ability to kind of hold this off. And for those who missed my update last day, um, my capture card broke. So we have a um, passable content today. I guess we call this passable contact month. But anyway, this issue will get fixed in two to four weeks. So anyway, looking at my opponent's team here, he got Hydreigon, Blastoise, Superior, Steelix, Arcanine, and Cobalion. And really, the biggest issue is the Blastoise. You can kind of rip through my team. And if the Superior is the contrary set, then, you know, I'm just screwed. I learned that the hard way. And I'm obviously keep learning that the hard way. And uh, yeah, basically... I'm using Macho, Gigalith, Pure Ugly, Polyrath, Tropius, and Marowak. And the only thing I really need to keep myself in mind is that the only thing that can go head on against the Blastoise is my Polyrath. And I must do anything in my abilities to make sure that those two are facing each other. And as long as I can pull that off, I should probably be fine. But who the hell knows? I mean, that's just one poke. Hadragon is still a threat. But like I said, the Superior can be. An extreme threat, plus Arcanine just locks down the complete game if I'm very, very... Well, if I let him. So anyway, let's get to it. So at the get-go, I really, really thought that he was gonna bring the Cobalion instead of rocks. So I just went for Machoke. Um, basically, the name of Punch, just getting that shit done. Uh, nobody likes Confusion, and uh, I hope to do around 50% against this thing. Cobalion is actually extremely defensive, but I know I can kind of break through if I'm very lucky. He does pack the leftovers though, so that is not a free at KO at this point. But he is actually not risking it because if he hits himself with confusion, then I'm definitely in the range of a 2 hit KO, and that will be the worst kind of start for him because Kubalin is so damn bulky. So anyway, promise prominence is coming here, which is Arc 9. Of course, it's gonna lock down the game there for me, and I'm not feeling very comfortable staying in there, so I'm actually gonna force myself out. I'm actually thinking it's gonna go for Flare Blitz or a fire move. So I bring in my Pure Ugly with, of course, a Thick Fat to kind of try to wheel that out. Obviously, he's going to Steelix, and um, yeah, just crap, really. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Fake Out because, hey, break the sturdy, that's nice. And then I'm just gonna go for u turns I think I do a like, solid 10 HP on this thing. Um, definitely not a game changer. <laughs> it's kind of a waste of a time, to be honest. But hell, I did some damage, I guess that's fine. So, I'm just gonna go to my Marowak, and he's gonna pull up a Rock Polish here, which means one thing. This thing probably is back in the weakness policy, and me going for a Bone Rank probably is kinda dangerous, so I'm actually better off going for a knockoff in case two Bone Rank hands is not killing it. And I do score a crit here, which is really, really nice, but my Marowak or Xenon is down for the count from the get go, but I do hit with the Bone Rank. Which is, of course, super important. Night accuracy is always annoying. So anyway, he's gonna go to his Regal or Superior. And basically at this point I was like, oh no, here we go, Leaf Storm. But no, he actually shows me the coil set. So I actually got, you know, I calmed down. Like, I, I felt that, okay, I can probably do this. But of course, have he having, of course, a setup of a coil is... It's gonna be kinda dangerous, it really is, and I definitely need to keep that in mind. So I go into Mr. Biggest Word here, doing a fake out, and then for a U-turn. It just didn't cross my mind that 112 base speed should be enough. It actually isn't, because Zerperia has 113 base speed, and I, it, it just didn't hit my, cross my mind. So obviously I'm sacking up that poke like, oh shit, no! <laughs> So anyway, he'll actually don't go for Leaf Storm or Leaf Blade here, he'll actually go for Dragon Tail. And uh, he hits himself with Confusion because of that, and um, I really thought that, alright, he will do some last ditch effort and uh, go for Leaf Blade here just to finish it off, but no! He'll actually go for Dragon Tail, letting me actually kill him if that were the case, but obviously I did switch out and Trope is taking a 
good amount of damage just coming in and saying hi. And uh, now we have this thing here. And when I say this thing, I mean Gigalith. And Gigalith can't really, really take a Leaf Blade or rather I won't let him. So he's definitely gonna go for Rife and go for Leaf Blade right off the bat. And Tropius is gonna soak that out. And you know, I just need to finish this. I'm just gonna go for Nature Gift. Just shut it, just die. Fool. Snake. Get out of my face. <laughs> So Harvest Keys in there, they're real nice, but Arcanine is gonna come here. And I really thought I was gonna lose my Tropius here. But he'll actually go for the extreme speed, not sure he was able to outspeed. And since Tropius has 300 in defenses, level 100, it is extremely, extremely bulky. He just won't die. And I mean, he just falls asleep, you know, recover, he's back on track. This thing, this dragon, this dinosaur with leaf blades for wings is back. It is not dead, and that is just terrifying. And I go for Gilead here just to scare him out. And um, I'm gonna do a little bit of over prediction. I'm gonna go for an EQ here because I do think that he's gonna decide to stay in or bring something else. But of course, I dragon this here, and I actually forgot about this thing for for the time being. But I am able to soak a deep pulse. Hell, I'll take two. And actually be able to retaliate with a superpower Gilith coming through and destroying the Ghidorah. And that was really nice. I did not expect that. I was thinking, okay, Gilith, do the flinch. <laughs> or a Draco. I mean, Drake will definitely have taken me out. So obviously I've got a bit of luck here. And here is the Mega Blastoise. And you remember what I said from the beginning, guys? I need to pull wrap this thing. That is the only, only way this is gonna go down. So it's gonna go down. It's gonna go down. It's gonna be the card of Paul Rats gonna come in. Going against David Jones. And my opponent here will do a misplay here and go for the water pulse. But it really doesn't matter because these two giants, water pokes, the beasts, can't really do any damage against one another. It's like watching two old people trying to kill each other with a cane. It just it just won't do it. <laughs> They're still going at it like 10 years later, they're still hitting, hitting each other like, Oh, why don't you die, bro? Why don't you die? <laughs> but anyway, we'll hit each other. I mean, hell, I do win this matchup. I mean, come on, it's it's kind of funny watching these two. They, they really can't do it I mean, against one another. And like I said, Paul Rapp was definitely a check to this. And uh, I only needed Paul Rapp for that reason and that reason only, so I was really glad to pull through. Obviously, here, a uh, superpower from the Cube Valley is gonna be enough to kill the Polar Rat, and like I said, you know, I'm fine with this, I don't need Polar Rat off the blasters going down. So now, I get the very very fine opportunity of bringing back the monster, the dinosaur, the true grass dragon, Thrombius. And we're basically just gonna go at it, I'm gonna speed this thing up because we got from 28 turns to 43 turns of not, I'm not gonna call it stall, but hell, I was so determined of winning this battle. We got Arcanine Gabelli left, I have my Tropius and Machoke left. Had I go for Machoke, I probably would have uh, speeded out this thing much better. But I was just wanted my Tropius to be fully set up and destroy my opponent. I felt so comfortable at this point. So I'm just going for Dragon Dance after Dragon Dance. I mean, obviously it seemed like it kind of nerfed me here. And Arcanine being extremely bulky. That is an issue. So anyway, he'll go for the Fire Spin Extreme Speed. It's not enough. I mean, my Tropius is just that... It's just a bulk, it's just a beast. You can't kill it, you can't kill it with physical strength alone. You need strategy, you need something that can kill true, true dragons. And that is not what Arcanine is, at least not in this battle. And um, obviously, once Blasters was gone, there was nothing really stopping my Tropius from setting up because he had no real issue with any weaknesses. Of, of course, had the, um, Arcanine had uh, Flare Blitz, it might have, you know, put a a bit of threat, I guess, but you know, it wouldn't be enough. And I'm actually somewhat unlucky here with the harvest. I don't get my nature gift like back, and uh, it's gonna prove that it turns. I'm actually forced to go for a few dragon dances instead of attacking, which I obviously don't really need because I just want the harvest to kick in. And finally, it kicks in two times in a row. And when Arcan is back here, it is down for a count. You know, the intimidation, sure. Krobius is scared. He scored, he just, he's so scared he might just kill you, and that is exactly what he do. Cropius is summoning his strength, his true power of his nature, and will eradicate this Arcanine from the existence. So, that is GG people, and uh, really, really, 
this was a very, very fun game against Andre. I definitely felt I learned something. It was very fun going against the UU team and to trying to work around that. I really think I successfully did that in the end. I really didn't think I would pull through, to be honest with you. So anyway, I really hope you guys enjoy this battle, because I sure did. I was very glad that I was able to go against a player that actually used higher tier Pokemon, but wasn't... I guess you'd say the standard set was definitely trying something new, which means that I was actually forced to play in a different way, and it worked out for me, it really did, but you know, it's... Wow, it looked really awful at some point there. Had I lost Tropius early in the match, I don't think I would have been able to win. Obviously, my trophy surviving that extreme speed after the superior going down really was decisive, and the uh, follow you know, Steen still being a good amount of health against the Blastoise, or you know, full health, obviously, was extremely important because there was no way in hell that any of my Pokemon would have eradicated it. It is just that simple. So, I think Andre or Nagi played a great game. I'll definitely look forward to battling him again because he just did it. He really just played a very good game, and. Uh, I hope to see more of him. So, with that in mind, guys, you know, as always, I guess I should say just sorry for the quality again. And like I said, we'll, we'll definitely make that work. And that's just gonna be awesome. So, with all this in mind, guys, you know, as always, if you like this battle, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. We're, we still got a lot of bears. What, what's wrong with you people? Come on, get over here. We've got like ale, stout, porter. We've got like those. Check in, like, light bay if you want some of that. Ugh, who cares about it? Anyway, guys, and remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day, guys, and take care, alright? Bye.